guys so welcome back to my channel so today actually coming to you with my hair looking all crazy right here it's actually like really out you know whatever but y'all know the shrink y'all know the shrink is but today i'm coming to you all to show you all how i trim my natural hair i don't think i ever record a video of me doing this i do it maybe like every six months everybody trims their hair differently some people do it every two months some people do it every three six months a year never <laughs> everyone has like their own time when they trim their hair so you know do it to your discretion but i will say at least do it once a year i really think twice a year is the best but yeah like i said again to your own discretion um this will be my first time this year i did it last year back in december and so this is my first time this year doing it and so you know when you go to the salon you tell them you need a trim and it's like they cut off all your hair and you're like I only actually trim my hands and they're like yeah but you know this was damaged blah 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 yeah, I heard it before so I just kept looking on YouTube ways how to trim ways how to dust ways how to whatever and I'm just like it's that easy um the easiest method that I found some people blow the, all their hair out and then they section it off go through each section and just cut the ends I have done that I think that's if I want to do a thorough um, trim, but for my maintenance and because I know I haven't really done much damage to my hair or anything like strenuous, then I just trim the ends. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you all can see this big forehead of mine. No, so you all can see my hair. All right, so I'm going to start with you know, spraying some water on my hair first to loosen it up. Hmm. I need to trim my nails. I'm trying to snag my hair, y'all. All righty, so we're going to start with this here. Make sure y'all can see I got a little break in the front. Front. Not really breakage, but you know, from my postpartum shutting, y'all know how the front of my hair is, how it acts really stupid and slow. But it wasn't as bad like with DJ. My Camille Rose Almond Jot Twist Butter. I love the stuff, you guys. I'm on a bomb.com twister, I use that. I'm using my onion burnt sugar pomade to seal that in. And so, you know, I started the ends, just work my way up. This ain't the best part, y'all. It's all crooked and everything, but. You know, it is what it is. I just do a quick finger to tangle through that. Sometimes, if I want to be really detangled, then I'll take my little Felicia level with brush. I really like this, you all. I might do it. Uh, um, review on this brush. If y'all want me to, I will. So y'all haven't seen me too straight and twist about a million times, so I really don't have to show y'all this part. But again, I'm showing y'all how I do it. A lot of people wonder, like, how do you know when you have to trim your ends? So I'm just, as much as I can zoom in. Let's see. So Y'all see that right there? My hand up behind it. Y'all can see that little thing hanging right there? I was watching, um, was it an African export? I think her channel was. I don't know where that girl at too. I was like, where you at though? Like, where your videos at, girl? But anyway, I was watching her channel and she was saying, you know, watch out for these little scraggly ends. So y'all, when y'all too, if you do my method, well, not my method, but this method, <laughs> and you see like that little scraggly part right there, then you know it's time for a trim. And this isn't like real bad, like horrible. My end's been worse than this. But you will definitely tell a difference in your twist outs um, when you got a fresh trim versus you ain't trimmed in a few months or a few years. 
So you literally just take your scissors. And I got these shears from Sally's Purple. Y'all know I gotta represent the purple outdoor. So they're really, they're not just regular scissors, they're shears, which is more of a better clean cut. And maybe, just maybe, if I'm feeling a little fancy for Black Friday, I might order the main choice uh, shears. And so, y'all see this right here? Hold on, let me see. This is like pretty much all you need to trim off. Oh, why my, my camera's not really focused? There we go. This is like pretty much all you need to trim off. You don't really need to do too much more than that. And that little bit will help you from getting, letting your split ends go more up your shaft, damaging your hair even more, and everything like that. And then when you look at the twists, you know, it's clean. It's a little bit, a little scraggly. But, okay, I think I got the last little scraggle off. But yeah, that's what you want to see right there. Oh, this camera is like really tricking me right now. It's like, what you doing, sweat? What you doing? Yeah, this is what you want to see right here. And again, these from Sally's, I think they were like $15. They're not like the most high expensive ones, but it gets the job done for me for right now. And so, yeah, this is what I do throughout my whole head. And then, once I do my twist out, I see the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all one more again. trim pins. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. Yes, the fresh edges. Please don't be afraid. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to have to let y'all see. So this is what I did. This is how much I trimmed all together from my whole head. This is how much, you know, that's not bad at all. These little <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. Um, please don't be afraid to trim your hair. Um, I know so many people who are like, I don't want to trim my hair. My hair is it took so long to grow this and that. And you see people who are like two years, three years, four years, and everybody here grows different. That's true. It has, that has to deal with genetics. Yes. That has to also deal with diet, big, big plain diet, water intake, food, healthy things. Um, I'm going to be coming to you all with a health video soon about things I recommend you take. And definitely please do your research. Don't just think I'm some doctor or some know-it-all because I'm not far from it. But um, I have a lot of things coming up with testimony for my family. I mean, it's just so much I have. To put on out on my channel it's just i'm so busy i get tired but i'm really gonna be trying to get these videos out to you all soon but yes please don't be afraid to trim your hair your hair grows you just have to worry about retaining the length and keeping a healthy scalp keeping your ends healthy and you know keeping a steady regimen that's pretty much it 
All right, you guys, so it's the next day. And, well, not the next day, it's been like three days. <laughs> and so, um, also I apologize for my background, it's a little junky. Trying to, this is our wash day, so we're trying to get everything together, clean up and everything like that. So, yeah, apologize for that. Um, but yeah, that's not what this is about. <laughs> so, yes, and shout out to this make, y'all. I got so much better in my makeup just by practicing. So, if y'all want to see a tutorial on this look, let me know. I'll uh, recreate it. And, um, yeah, just let me know. <laughs> but, anyway, I don't tell you what happened. My lipstick, too. Yeah. But, anyway. <laughs> um, so, this is pretty much what you want to look for. Let me see if I can try to show you all this. I'm still to be looking at my makeup, but yeah, you should have like a really good definition. Let me see if I can zoom in. Can you see that? You see how crisp it is and like how nice and bouncy my hair is? And that's because I did that little trim. Y'all saw that little bit of hair that I showed you. So it wasn't like I chopped off three or four inches. That probably wasn't even an inch. I don't even know. Maybe it was. I don't know. But yes, your hair should be like bouncy, like new. So people always say, well, how do you know you should trim your ends? When your twist outs, your braid outs, whatever, flat twist outs, when it start looking raggedy at the ends, like when you do a twist out, again, it should be sharp. It should be bouncy. It should have some form of life to it. If it's just dull and dry looking, it looks real cr cracked and crispy looking. You need to do a trim. And again, even if it doesn't look cracked and crispy, check every three to six months. Me, again, I do every six months, twice a year. That helps me. And yeah. So you guys, I'll be a month. I mean, I said a month. I'm one month, well, not literally a month, but um, basically from my one year anniversary. My hair is going out so nicely. Okay, let me zoom back out. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I am going to fluff this out. I'll come back and show y'all once I fluff it out. Because, you know, I love y'all. Y'all my YouTube family. But let me go ahead. Y'all, and also, I'm just random, but this product, this butter, is like the bomb.com. Like, this butter has never failed me. Like, this is the Camille Rose butter. It's ridiculous how good. And it doesn't just work on, like, 4C hair. Like... I'm you like it takes a good product to get some good definition of what's here. Hey guys, I'm back. And I have to do a little headband accessory on there. I was gonna say he doesn't like it, but whatever. I like it. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, this is the finished look, you guys. These are the definition. This is my favorite product. One of my one of my favorite products. I love the curling. I don't know. The curling is gonna be in the in the um almond jaw twist butters like neck and neck for real. I love the curling. This really for the moisture, and I love this for the definition. So maybe I need to put them two together and see how that twist that will come out. <laughs> I need to see how that will work because I'm gonna be like, y'all, she y'all. I get the bomb ziggity twist out. <laughs> So yes, um, I just added a little sunflowers because this one came off, so I just put it up there. <laughs> Cause I just wanted to be cute, you know, summer, you know, it's finally summer. Just do a what? A one time for the summer, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just rambling, y'all. This is really not even. I already have a twist out thing on my page about how to get the best divine twist out. Because when I found out, I said, somebody else needs to know about this. I can't just hog on this definition. So, yes. This is pretty much how you want your twist out, your braid out, anything else to come out. Really defined. I didn't separate too, too much because I like to have second day, third day. It's going to look pretty good. But throughout the week, it'll get bigger and whatever else. So, thank you all for watching. 
time. Make sure you're subscribed to my Instagram because I'm about to upload some pictures. Matter of fact, well, I'm about to show y'all my little phone case because it's so cute. Hold on. Like, y'all, so this is the baby right here. It's like the pictures. I see my little phone case. Every time somebody see my phone case, they'll be like, oh, my thing is there. I know like, I'm like, oh my goodness, what kind of phone is this? I love it. I'm like, hello. Yes, girl. I can't even believe it. <laughs> no, but yeah, so y'all take your selfies. <laughs> My dress. It's my dress I'm wearing today, y'all. Just in case I want. To. That's about it. I gotta go for y'all. But thank you for watching. And um, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And again, follow me at Blessed and Lovely on Instagram and Twitter, and follow me at Amber Delagu on Facebook. <laughs> Talk to you all later. Bye. And I just want to do a quick little snip to show y'all what it looks like without the headband. I'll um, define the still look. I define how it's still like the band to go away from the definition or something. Maybe I'll just keep this one little flower right here since Heavy don't like the band. I don't know, y'all. Let me know if y'all like the band below. <laughs> All right, for real, I'm gone. Yeah, I ain't got no makeup on either. This is just a hot mess. My eyelashes, I ain't got none, but I do, y'all. I got eyelashes. Hold on, so I can prove some people I got eyelashes. I just got really small eyes. I got eyelashes and my eyebrows are starting to grow in, so I'm happy about that. And I just need to hurry up. I'm going to start putting my cast oil on there every night because I haven't been doing that. But yeah, this is just my bare face, y'all. Oh, and I was to be doing a skin routine. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody had, like, two or three people asked me to do a skin routine video. I told them I was. I just totally forgot. So I'm gonna record that probably this week coming up. I'm gonna show y'all what I put on my face and everything. Keep my face clearer. Keep it bright too. So again, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Baby, you don't know what you do to me.